What's up, Blood Runners? This is Blood Runner 3, and welcome to Slide 3. Today we will be starting Dead Men Tell No Tales on my new camera. Hooray! I think. We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He got ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identity to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Oh no. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He made a fortune moving undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. That Bentley, always thinking. I'm just admiring the quality of my camera right now. Just, mmm, that looks good. <coughs> and here we go. Black Spot Pete has retired and is living here in town. I'll mark his place with a waypoint. It sure has been a while since I played this game. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten everything, I think. So we'll be starting with the talk of pirates. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get them or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers. Plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. All right, so if I'm correct, which I'm usually not, we gotta talk to him. So, wanna sneak up from behind. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I will chatter with the likes of you, you blessed of something. Get out of this sight, lover. Oh, like me, as I only spoke of the gold and kindness with me, part. Can thank us, him. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover, and cough it with me, cutlass. Hard on my tongue, so I assure you. Salt of the earth, that black spot, P. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenant mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever be. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. Hmm. I hope 
can I do this stealthily? There we go. But that was that still factor was easy enough. <clears throat> shoot 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 shoot. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Damaged at all. Nice work. I've already got a bead on the second lieutenant. He's in motion near the overturned boat. Jeez, we're already six minutes in. My goodness. Can I time travel and not and I just don't know it? Sure does have a lot of nice places to climb. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. No, that was a perfect opportunity. Thank you. 